What is going on, people? It's Austin here, and uh, we got, look at this camo, hold on, let's just take a moment. Let's stand up, I'm gonna stand up right here, I'm gonna bring the mic with me. Let's take a moment for how sexy this camo is. Right, I'm gonna sit back down. Oh, I'm tired, Ooh, okay, I'm just kidding. Um, This camo though, like look at it, it's so prime. Like this is Austin in a nutshell. You guys know I love green. Like this is complete green. It's absolutely amazing. Like the way, it, like it's like a chrome, but it looks good. Oh wait, here, hold on, hold on. Let's. We need to stop here. I need to cut myself off. One, two, three, four. Look at this. Super slow mo right here. Look at this. Why? Why do you jump? And then hold on. If you look way farther back there, they're just spawning. That could have been like an on-screen blob bullshit. But either way, bad hit marker. The dude jumped. I should have jumped with them. Probably would have made it a little cooler. But I mean, whatever. Uh, drop a like if you think that would have been better I don't know just I don't know I'm being retarded people assume but either way uh, this gameplay is more or less just to show off the camo I know a lot of you guys have had this camo for a very long time uh, I know Raid has done multiple things with this camo I know Nadeshot has done something with it and called it the optic camo which I don't blame it because that shit is it looks green like gr obviously it's green but man it is actually so nice it is ridiculously nice but uh this was actually my first game using the new camo and uh, I actually managed to hit this, and I, I was kind of sad at the start because I wish I would have hit something cool with it. But I mean, it would have happened. It just wasn't my fault. So I'm not the one to blame here. Blame the dude for jumping. Blame the fucking frog over there. But either way, um, I figured I would upload this. Um, and also, Black Ops 2, because as you guys know, I don't know if I get, did tell you guys this. Uh, my Black Ops 2 actually did break, and I have a really bad habit with breaking games like I don't break them I know I hardly ever rage like ever it takes a lot to get me to rage um, but I think I've bought I think I've bought three black ops 2 uh, discs two call of duty ghost discs two cod 4 discs because they kept breaking people uh, misplaced them and they were just even though I hardly play it I still played it like once in a while cod 4 pro sims on that shit was the best uh, I think I bought like three or four MW2s and a bunch of like two MW two or three MW3s. So I've if you if you take that if you just like think about that that is too many Call of Duties that have gone like wrong. And the worst part is they weren't even my fault. Actually, they probably were my fault. Honestly, I'm probably just putting it off. But I I'm one of those people that will put the disc on the desk and it'll just lay there and gather dust and scrape against ship. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I'm I, I'll be the first to admit it that I do that. I think we can all agree here that we all have done it at one point. But uh, you know what? We all are not mothers. We are all not people who can look after discs. We cannot do that. We are. We are. Majority of us are teenagers. I mean, I don't know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, yesterday's video um, with the Xbox Scuff One. I'll, I, I feel like playing more Xbox One and more Ghost, mainly because the connection on it is pristine. The controller is amazing. I love that controller so much it's so clean but uh titanfall comes out tomorrow uh you guys have to actually play the game like honestly like y you guys cannot play titanfall like call of duty that's just that makes no sense at all if you wanted to play call of duty play call of duty titanfall is a brand new game but either way i'm austin pamaj hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys later